wishing all our Malay clients a happy Ramadan and to you at home, we are hoping you and your families are keeping well. So it's day 17 of the circuit breaker um, and we're releasing like a couple of bite-sized um, pieces of useful tips and information on real estate in Singapore and we hope you stay tuned to enjoy them and should there be um, any other uh, areas and aspects on property that you would like us to share on or touch on, uh, please do drop us a message as well um, in the inbox. Yep. Today we are going to share with you a very important segment in the sense that why some properties lose money and why some properties make money. Uh, we have encountered a lot of our clients asking us this question, A, hey, we have a friend that bought property A which didn't make money, but we have another friend that buy property B which make a lot of money. So what are the key crucial factors to look for when we buy a property? After all, property is a huge purchase, a big investment where we need to put in quite a bit of capital, right? So I will just show you this few key info for you all to take note, which I think will be very useful info for you all. I think some of you all might be familiar, some of you all might not be familiar, but these two condos are located in Bishan, right near to Bishan MRT station, uh, both side by side. So in terms of location, they are both same and they are both built by the developer Capital Land, right? So if you can see Sky Habitat, which is the blue one right here, okay, it was launched in 2012 at an average pricing of $1,600. But if you can see today's market, how did the price move for Sky Habitat? To date, we are still at about $1,600. In fact, if you look at the graph closely, you can see that in between, the prices did fluctuate quite a little bit. For the next property, the one that's just right beside, by the same developer, Skyview, if you can see the pricing that time, it was $1,300 per square foot. To date, the price is about $1,800 per square foot. The key question here is why? Both of them are at the same location, but how come one actually the price remain quite stable, but the other one see a surge in terms of the prices, right? Now I drill down a little bit more into the numbers for y'all. So if you can see, these are the amount of profit people will have made in Skyview if they make the right decision. And this is the losses people make when they buy Sky Habitat. So the key question is, how do we determine which is the correct project? And one more crucial point that I want to highlight to you is also, if you see Sky Habitat, we still have people making money. Why is that so? In the same development, some people lose money and some people make money. So the key question we will cover is, there are a lot of factors to look at, the entry pricing, the timing, and many other factors to really look out for. So it's actually not easy, but uh, we have a lot of case studies and info that we can share and it depending on the situation as well, which we would like to share more with you. So you can hit us up, Profit From Property, and we'll be glad to assist you. Thank you. See ya. Bye.